Derek, tell us, what was it like to be back at the football club today? Oh, I was a bit surreal, but, uh, uh, you know, it's been a long time, but I was happy to come along on board and um, reconnect with the footy club. Uh, you know, Xavier gave me that, that opportunity, which is great. Was it a strange feeling walking back through the doors for the first time? Well, the, not, not in these facilities. <laughs> I mean, it's a, a million dollar facilities, you know, but at Windy Hill, um, I went back there last week to check out the Windy Hill um, facilities there, but to come here today and have a look at the, the hangar here and everything, it was un unbelievable. You know, the guys got it pretty easy with all that stuff here. And what did you make? The boys showed you around this morning. What did you make of the facilities? Yeah, I noticed Wallace got about six pairs of footy boots. So I only had one uh, when I played Vesson, so you know, the boys are doing well. But uh, yeah, you know, it was good to get Jake and the other guy, Luke, I think it was, Luke, to uh, show me around the tour of the, the um, club. And how's it compared to Windy Hill? Obviously, you did the hard yards at Windy Hill under the grandstand, but the facilities the boys have today with the gym and the pool and the, the indoor facility must be pretty impressive. Yeah, it is impressive. I don't know what's worth here out of here, but very impressive. You know, the facilities, um, the guys got, like I said, pretty good uh, compared to Windy Hill. Um, but, you know, that's, I suppose that's the um, ages now. Most uh, AFL clubs have got uh, good, spectacular facilities, um, so there's no excuses for the players to, you know, to play um, bad footy. You'd say. <laughs> <laughs> and we see you on Marnbrook every week, but what else are you doing um, with yourself at the moment? Yeah, just doing Marnbrook at the moment, concentrating on that. Um, I, I enjoy that. I've been that, doing that for the last two, two and a half months, which is really good. But, uh, you know, I'd love to be involved in uh, some AFL footy club um, to help the, the young Indigenous boys um, get to where they want to achieve. And you're obviously very passionate about that, that space and, and helping them. What are the types of things that you, you look to, to bring to a role like that? Yeah, I'm hoping to uh, get involved, maybe uh, mentoring, you know, develop my own mentoring program, uh, but also a uh, side of um, leadership and, uh, you know, the role model programs I've developed, a lot of that stuff. So um, deliver that to young kids, uh, young footballers mainly, that want to achieve and get that opportunity to, to be guided by, uh, you know, a past player or experienced people that have done that, done that, done that in the past. And yourself, will, you, will we see it a few more Essendon games moving forward? Yeah, look, like I said, it was great to come back to the Essendon Footy Club. Um, you know, Xavier's uh, gone out of his way to give me a call. Uh, you know, it's been 25 years since I've been back to the Footy Club, and I'm grateful for uh, Xavier to give me that opportunity. And what are your thoughts on Waller as a player and what he brings to the team? Oh, it's very exciting. Um, I, I say to the guys, you know, he's got a bit of the same pace as me. Um, yeah, but I'm still waiting for him to do those t uh, tops or the barrels. Uh, but I think uh, worse, worse for I'll let him do it. But, you know, he's uh, pretty quick and uh, that's what you need. And, you know, I've seen Jake uh, Long on the weekend, young uh, Michael's son. And uh, he was really good, played well on the weekend against Geelong. And uh, a very quick player too, like his old man, walks like his old man. He's got the same style. So, you know, if you get those two young, exciting players playing in the forward line, uh, I think it'll be uh, exciting for the SM Footy Club. Well, Derek, great to see you back at the footy club today. Um, and all the best. And we hope to see you at a few more games moving forward. Yeah, no, thanks a lot and uh, looking forward to uh, more exciting games from the Essendon Footy Club.